Okay, this video is gonna be a comparison between the PBS31A shown here and the PBS31D here. Uh, so these are both articulating binocular night vision goggles. Um, the 31 alphas here are an L3 product. And then your Delta model here is an Elbit product. Um, may also have heard it referred to as the F5032 or SBNVG. Um, and these are kind of fairly similar units and similar categories. And I thought I'd just kind of compare them head to head here. Um, there are just some nuances to them. So both articulating units, they're both, uh, they're both factory units. So unlike say a, um, you know, like a PBS 14 or, you know, DTMVG or something like any, most of the units out there, it's typically a third party buys the housing, buys the intensifier tubes, slaps them together, and you've got your night vision unit. Um, the difference here being that like this is an Elbit factory unit with their tubes um, and, and their, their housing that they have, have made for them um, that they, they assemble. Um, and then it's equipped with their kind of top of the line uh, white foss um, thin film tubes. Then same thing with L3 here with the, the alphas. It's, it's their unit, their housing, their tubes, um, their filmless tubes uh, with this unit here. Um, as far as I know, not really like a way to get just the housing on, on either of these and, and put them together. Uh, they both are powered by double A's either on board or they both have uh, battery packs which carry four double A batteries. They're both proprietary to either unit. Um, they both have their own proprietary lenses. So, um, you know, these, these objective lenses and these diopters are unique to the 31 alphas. Um, and these are kind of unique to the, the Delta unit as opposed to like a 14, you know, glass or something like that. Um, they are both equipped with IPD stops built in. So you can see on the alphas here, it's these little knobs on the side and on the Delta here. So you're just turning that to move that little knob there in or away um, in order to set your inner pupillary distance when you uh, put the goggles on. Uh, both have a similar power switch centrally located, press and hold to power on. The alpha is a little squishy, stiff, uh, indistinct. Delta, press and hold. And it's actually got kind of a, you can hear it clicking, much more tactile feel to it. Um, and then you're just rotating the switch on both these units to adjust your gain. Uh, so those are kind of the main similarities between these guys. Um, one of your biggest differences on the alpha model, there's no auto shutoff on the individual pod. So say you want to roll one eye up, this pod is going to stay powered on and shine on your helmet. If you wanted to roll both up and look underneath the unit, they stay powered on. You're only getting this thing to power off if you uh, flip the whole thing up over your head, um, which is interesting. Uh, and then on the Delta here, it's individually controlled. So you could be running your left eye down, roll this guy up, it'll go into a standby mode and then power back on when you roll it back down. Same thing if you roll both sides up or, or rotate the whole unit up. Um, another difference here, alphas have a fixed diopter. So if you see this is marked here. Um, so if that's not working with your eyes, you've got to change out that uh, diopter lens on there. And then on the Delta, it's got an adjustable diopter 
much like uh, you know any other kind of unit out there and you can fine tune that as needed uh, another difference here on our alphas you can i mean you can just tell looking at this thing it's fairly uh streamlined and there's not a lot of bonus features so no onboard illuminator as opposed to our deltas here we've got an onboard led based illuminator now it's nothing to write home about it's similar i would say in performance to a 14 it's you know kind of kind of useless but it's there um bright light sensor so the deltas have this kind of unique sensor on here that um is intended to detect light detect you know a large amount of light and after a period of time automatically shut the goggle off in order to keep you from nuking the tube say if you like uh, you know walk indoors turn the lights on and forget about it that they're powered on um, kind of a unique feature uh, you know that can be manually disabled through a series of ro rotating the power switch and tapping um, just little things so your battery compartment is center line as well on these you've got kind of this nice nice big knob right on the front here for the alphas but it's like a really fine thread so you're spinning kind of a while to get it on there and then it's got this little rubber tether that like wants to bind as you're threading that back on which is just just a little annoying uh the delta much more coarse threads and it'll like come right off of there and a wire uh, tether on that uh let's see what else um battery pack so on the alpha four double a's you got this center uh thumb screw to open it up um you've also these two little raised portions here are actually ir uh strobes so this little switch here will power that on and off and you got hook velcro on the back kind of a unique feature to that um, battery cable is proprietary to the alpha model and the delta one is also proprietary uh, one thing to note about doing batteries on these things is the battery pack connector comes out the side here if i can get that plugged in okay so it actually blocks your articulation of that pod on that side uh, and the other one can like go way way past it so just a little head scratcher there um, but that's the way they are battery pack on the delta four double a's a little bit different shape to it there's been other ones in the past too i, I know i think both of these have had kind of some variation with that stuff um, two little thumb screws um, i've seen others like this that have a built-in weight that are bigger this one does not uh, hook velcro on the back there your another proprietary cable to power this thing no strobe and you will plug in kind of at the front corner there with that that port right there and it will not interfere with your articulation on the pods um weight so another big difference these guys are the alphas are stripped down and super light uh, my scale came in around 16.1 ounces um with the alphas and that was no battery just as you see here no lens caps or anything installed delta here 18.2 i want to say and with the lens caps but no battery installed so it's a little heftier there's a little bit more going on in terms of electronics um accessories and stuff so the alphas come with kind of a actually pretty decent little soft case uh, for them which is not a huge deal but a nice to have the deltas i don't have it with me but it's a crappy it's the classic green bag with with padding sewn into it so it kind of blows um other just little things about them so articulation is greater on the alphas so we demonstrate here on a g24 i can if the battery cable is not attached i can 
kind of roll these back a little bit closer to my helmet, uh, with, which is kind of nice just to have it not hanging so far out there. As compared to the Delta, which actually interferes with the IPD knobs on there and keeps it kind of more straight. So, you know, again, not a huge thing, but it just feels like when you're wearing it, like it's way, way out there. Um, and, and it's just kind of a little weird. And let's see what else. Um, Kind of just overall, my, my opinion on that stuff, like I think the auto shutoff feature being lacking on the alphas is, is a little bit annoying. It, I find it much more comfortable to run around with my, my pods rolled up like that with the whole thing down um, and just look underneath the unit. Uh, so not having these power off automatically is kind of annoying. Um, the adjustable diopter um if that doesn't work with your eyes that's kind of a a real pain to deal with um but at the same time like these things are way way lighter you you know you skim a few features and and you get a much lighter unit that two ounces makes quite a difference um it's also nice that the alphas come in a nice bag and they include uh the battery pack uh, which the deltas do not include that um, price is also different so that kind of evens out in the end um, but you know that is another thing to keep in mind um, and just in general i would say that be probably because these are so light um, look just handling the, the alphas and looking at them you're kind of like are these airsoft knockoffs what's the deal you've got like phillips head you know screws and stuff which is a little bit weird uh the deltas just feel heftier that hinge looks a lot kind of heftier um there that, that rotation there's a lot stiffer um you know just just some overall differences with that um but yeah that's pretty much your rundown on the differences between the 31 Alpha and the 31 Delta.